Els, Els Biesemans. I was born in Antwerp and now I live in Switzerland. Um, I'm a forte pianist, that means I'm a pianist. And uh, I've specialized on playing on historical instruments. Meanwhile, I have a little collection of instruments and uh, I like to travel with them. I play lots of repertory mainly from the 19th century and I also like to play some music that is not known so much. I like to go and search in libraries to find some pearls that are hidden and then to bring them back to life. As long as the music is just on the paper, it's like dead and it's not living. But my task, the way I see it, is to bring them really alive uh, with the spirits from the time when, when it was written. Of course, it's, it feels a little bit exotic to play on these pianos, and it's also a privilege. Um, and people hear immediately the difference. And everywhere where I come with this piano, I play, for instance, Mozart, they hear a completely different Mozart as they are used to. And it's fascinating. And uh, I have the feeling in a time like today, where there is so much loudness, there's lots of uh, chaos and um, and not so much concentration, these more soft and friendly sounds are really asked for and, uh, and these sounds go, go straight to the heart. when I'm there for a concert that I can do something if something is not right. So here they are. There is a very direct uh, link between keys and strings and that enables uh, fast playing <laughs> but also very controlled playing of course. Sometimes I have the feeling that I'm born in the wrong century. Um, I love the 19th century, I feel very connected with it. And these pianos are a way for me to live in this century. Can you imagine 1825, Beethoven was still alive, Schubert was still alive, so I have a very short connection to these composers. It requires um, a certain approach. You cannot just play on them, just what you practice, but you have to look for how can I bring out the nicest sounds and really a quality of sound. And the, the instrument will show you. I mean, the instruments are the best teachers in the world. It's really uh, enjoying the sounds and, and, and the, the quality of, of the sounds. Like you make a, a nice meal and you want to have a really, really good taste, you know, with, with some flavors of this and that and just the, the perfect mix. And then if you, if you put it in your mouth, you say, wow, I'm just melting, you know, because it's so nice. And I think these pianos, these sounds have the same effect. Mm -hmm. 